welcome back to part two of the European Cup. If you're watching this, we are no longer in Ireland. We are back home in sunny England. And to this video is gonna be about Laura, who was in flight B or flight D of day one and the lads who were a separate day. So obviously with Laura, she was in a class. She was the only one in her flight. Um, and she was in the Masters under 67s. It was her first international competition. I know she was very nervous, um, but she smashed it. Um, as far as Nathan tells me, because I wasn't there warming up with them, I was handling the other girls, telling me that warm ups were flying. Uh, we had a change of wraps into a more like softer, like rebound kind of wrap, um, which she really seemed to get along with. So that was a really, really good decision. And then the lads, like both of them, like very different handling women to handling men. The lads are, bit, women are a bit more like nervous about things, but the lads are a bit more like, really in you know on the opposite end of the spectrum too confident sometimes <laughs> so it's about calming them down and getting them to think about you know what they need to do but the squats went well i thought really um check them out So squats went really well. We had Nathan PB in. Um, Stephen very unlucky not to get a triple body weight squat. Um, and Laura with a massive PB. I know for Laura that meant a lot because obviously she's had like a, a, a full knee reconstruction and squats are something that she's had issues with depth before in the past and feeling them and sometimes doesn't feel as confident as she would with something like deadlifts or bench. So it was really over the moon for her. Um, and Nathan as well, you know, um, with a PB. And as I said, Stephen, just a little bit unlucky to get that, but um, he will, he will, he will get that the next time he competes. There's absolutely no doubt. Um, so then we move on to bench. Um, and as I said, Laura was competing the previous day, uh, but Laura's a very good bencher. Uh, so is Nathan. And uh, Stephen, I would say that he would say himself it's the one that he struggles with the most. But we just need to make sure that we get as much as we can. Um, because obviously when we're competing against others, every kilo counts, especially in some of the like the lighter weight classes as well, where the difference can be something as, as significant as two and a half kilos at the end. So making smart jumps and smart decisions when you're handling or lifting, super important. But here's bench.
bench out of the way. Laura, wouldn't be Laura without her trying to drop the bar on her face at some point. Um, but she managed to do what she did. So it's a, it's a full power comp PB for Laura, uh, managing to replicate what she did at single lifts. Um, Stephen um, admitted, like he would say that his prep, the bench during his prep, like was not going to plan. Um, so he was just happy. He didn't think that 100 kilos would come up. So to get 102, um, he was really happy with know. Shame about the 107. I wouldn't say that the strength wasn't there. It was just, I think like the line coming off the chest just needed to push back a little bit more. I think he'll get it. And then Nathan, you know, coming away with 110, which is a comp PB. So really, really happy for him. I think that 110, if you watch the video, is probably the, the perfect call to make on that weight. And so really happy that he got that as well. Moving into deadlifts, obviously Laura, Nath and uh, Stephen are all really competent deadlifters. Like I said to you before in the previous video, this is the one that matters. This is when tactics come into play, especially when you're competing at an international competition. When you're, when you're looking at the leaderboard, obviously as, as a handler, we're looking at you know, trying to add things together and work out you know, changing attempts and there's mind games to be played because you can change the deadlift and you can you know, make, make your opponent sweat a little bit. So um, with Nathan and Steven, they were both locked in a battle. I believe Nathan was locked in a battle for second and third place in the under 75 juniors and Stephen was locked in a battle to win the under 75s uh, between a, a really, really competent lifter, a really, really, really talented lifter. So it was going right down to the last lift. So check out deadlifts. Deadlifts all done. Happy to say that you know Laura is the uh, M1 Under 67 European Cup champion. So we're super, super proud of her. And um, I think that going into this, Laura ne would have never imagined that she got that. So I think that she was super proud of herself, which is amazing. Um, and I'm really excited now to push her onto the Brits and see where she places there. It's also really good to get people to have that kind of um, experience of competing and being involved in battles. So I know that like, even though with Steven, who you know smashed the comp and so did Nathan, but came on, on the wrong side of their battle, Nathan ended up in third place over second, just didn't quite have the legs left in him to pull 
225, which I know he's capable of. However, he was injured two weeks before, so deadlifting, so we, you know, it's to be expected that possibly he wasn't going to be able to deadlift to the best of his ability, but still, massive performance, two huge PBs with those, and to be fair, at your first international competition, third place is nothing to be sniffed at, so we're really, really proud of him. Um, I think the same with Steven, with the last lift, he needed 255 to win it, and it just it wasn't there on the day. With the previous comp PB of, of 250, uh, which is three and a half times body weight pull, it was always going to be a tough ask, especially as he said that maybe the prep hadn't completely gone uh, to plan as he would like. Um, but still, second at your first international competition in the under 75s Open is a huge achievement, and we're all super proud of everyone who competed. So that's it for the European Cup videos. I hope you've all enjoyed them. And uh, don't forget, I'm gonna get this right yet again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It means a huge deal to us and to Bella behind the camera yep. who's producing them all. And if you would like to sign up for online coaching or become part of Team Lift to Lift, make sure you click the online coaching inquiry in the description box on our page somewhere. Um, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which you can also find on the page. Speak soon.